Hello guys, my name is Joseph Connor and welcome to JC Design. Um, yeah, so in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this marvelous image. It's of the moon. Um, so basically I've created this in a 3D space using a program called Cinema 4D. Now don't worry if you don't have a copy of Cinema 4D or you've never used Cinema 4D or you've just heard about Cinema 4D. Um, it's pretty easy to use and if you follow my tutorial step by step you'll easily be able to create this uh, spectacular image of the moon. So let's get started and I'll walk you through it step by step. So let's create a new document and we'll just get rid of the old document. So we'll close that and we can start afresh. So basically uh, the final images kind of look like this. Um, they they do need a little bit work to them, but I mean, uh, as far as the tutorial goes, they they are pretty pretty cool if you if you've got to be honest. So um, I want to show you how you can create images like that using Cinema 4D. So right, the first thing you need is you are going to need the program Cinema 4D. Um, so don't worry about it because the I'm using a demo of uh, Cinema 4D and I'll show you where you can get it. So if you go into your browser and then you just type www.maxon.net which is that one and then you'll be at the home page of Cinema 4D go to try and then go down to the user information, fill in all your user information, blah blah blah, click submit and then download a copy and pause the video until you've downloaded and installed a version of the latest uh, cinema. So once you've done that, open up the program and we'll get cracking. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go over to this uh, cube here and just hold down the left mouse button and then go along to a sphere and now we've got a sphere so we'll make it a little bit bigger using this little nodule thing, the orange thing, pull it uh, left or right and it'll make the uh, the sphere bigger or smaller or you could use this here to make it bigger or smaller on the radius and what we need to do is we need to put the segments up so I recommend you put it up to about 80 and it'll get rid of all this little bumpiness if you zoom in here uh, I've applied it now but if if before I applied it, it was on 26 you see how it's like bumpy there uh, we don't want that on our moon so uh, just put in 80 um, don't put it. Don't put too much in because the more you put in, the more um, kind of memory and power your computer has to use, and I don't want you to kind of crash your computer. So, uh, 80 is about enough. So the next thing we need to do is we need to load our wonderful moon texture onto the sphere. So if we, I'll show you the moon texture. If you go into your wonderful little folder that I've provided with this tutorial, uh, there's a link below the uh, below this video down somewhere down there. Um, there'll be a asset folder uh, with all these with this image in. So basically, it's just a flattened out version, a flattened out image of the moon, which we're going to wrap around the. Uh, the sphere in 3D space. Pretty self explanatory once I show you how to do it. And if you kind of, um, if you want to adjust this image in Photoshop and make it a bit darker, then by all means do that. Um, so, what, what we need to do to wrap this around the sphere is we need to create a new material. So, if you go down to this little panel here, create material or you can hit Control and N and that'll do the same thing. Double click on the material and this will open the material editor and then go over to the texture and then load image 
and click on the moon texture and open just ignore that and there you go it's kind of wrapped around uh, the material so to apply that to the object you take the material and then put it over the object and you'll get this little symbol like a cursor with a uh, plus sign just drop it on and it should be fine yeah it should it should work um, once you've got the material around the object what you need to do is you need to go up to the material here click the right mouse button then go down to fit to object and if you want to adjust the texture so you can adjust the texture length here in the tag so if you click on the texture and then it should come in with these three tabs here click on tag and then if you go down to length you offset you can move the textures around right so let's uh, do a quick render on this and see uh, what it looks like I think it'll look cool ah that's not too bad that's pretty cool getting close to what the uh, the final images look like now but we've got to apply some lights to it to give it that kind of that moon effect so we want to kind of add like a light to it and um, you know give it some mass so if you go up to the lights panel here hit the left mouse button uh, keep your finger on the left mouse button and then select a spotlight that'll just drop in somewhere um, m mostly kind of in your object so there's no light on it at the moment so the, the light at the moment is kind of going to the left so what we need to do is we need to grab this arrow here and then pull it out and we're kind of getting something cool there if you hit this little symbol up here it'll move the view to the uh, the, uh, the Z Y and X axis so that's up down left right kind of axis and then when you've got your lights you kind of want to manipulate the light in these views you know because it gets a little bit complicated uh, so we'll just move this off to the side we click this little symbol here and then we move the light in oh, that looks pretty cool I think um, render that and see what it looks like now then that looks pretty cool yeah I like that so it's still not a hundred percent what I want so what we're going to do is we're going to add a bump map to that texture and what a bump map does is so if we click on bump here what a bump map does and then you go texture load texture click back on your moon texture and then click open just ignore that and what a bump map does is you will see that once I turn the bump map off, um, if I put it on zero, there's like there's no texture to the actual moon. It's just like a flat object with a flat texture on it. But the moon's got kind of valleys and mountains and like craters and stuff on it. So the way that we create that is using a bump map. So what a bump map does is it takes all these lights and darks and it calculates kind of does kind of like a little bit of a cheat. And it does like some uh, sexy 3D kind of calculations, so it looks like there's valleys and kind of um, craters on the moon based off the lights and darks. Uh, it's quite clever. Um, so then, usually you just got kind of mess around with it. So you see like how the valleys and the moon and the kind of the textures are coming up. But once you render that out, it'll look pretty sweet. So hit Control and R. And then you can see like all these little, so if we zoom in, uh, you can get like some really nice shots. So you see like how you get all the little textures and the bits of kind of like mountains peeking up through the darks and stuff. It's um, So it makes the, the actual planet less flat. So that's the end of the tutorial guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment in the comments box below and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and farewell.